Hey Simmers, welcome back or welcome on in if you are new here. We are back in Windenburg and I have been so obsessed with like recently building in this world. I forgot how beautiful it was. But before we get into the build, be sure to like and subscribe if you do like the content. It really does help and support my channel. So thank you in advance. Right now we are working on the foundations. You will notice I'll be fiddling around with this throughout the build. So I do apologize in advance. It was just a little bit hard for me to kind of work out the right layout, especially for a loft style. But for the foundation, I just really made sure that I kept it consistent with the rest of the build. So as you can see in the background, a lot of the apartments and buildings had the hide ceilings as well as those like window panels that stick out in the roof. I forgot what they were called. So I made sure I did that. And to stay true with the loft style, I really wanted to open up this space in the inside as it can look quite cramped. So I made sure I add in those large big windows. Now I'm just working on the actual loft layout itself. This took a bit of time and I was fiddling around with the ceilings and the roofing that's clipping in and how the stairs should be placed. But overall, I am pretty happy with my first shot at it. Now I am usually notorious for starting on the kitchens first, but today it will be different. We are going ahead with the bedroom since it is the only room upstairs or the only room for the matter that's separated and I thought I'll just put my focus in there and really begin on the theme of an industrial look and feel and because it is an industrial loft I wanted to make sure there's a lot of like warm colors uh, wood exposed bricks just to make sure that the palette is consistent throughout the build and to really stay true to the industrial feel as for the packs, I predominantly used the industrial loft kit, eco living, for rent and horse ranch with some jungle adventure and greenhouse and base games. So you'll see some random items scattered around, but those are the main kits and packs that I've been using. So for the bedroom, I kept it quite simple. I just wanted a plain double bed just so that two Sims can live here. And I wanted to add in a ceiling fan because I've been really forgetful about this item so I wanted to make sure that I popped it in. I also just did basic cluttering. I did a full length mirror to open up the space. I love that full length mirror from Jungle Adventure. I think it's one of my prized possessions and I use it in almost all of my builds if not every single one of them. So for the cluttering, I kept it minimal in the sense that it looks a little bit more lived in. So I did more artworks on the walls because the walls were so big and bare. So I've thrown that in. I've also put in some rugs, some small items, especially books, plants, and lighting. Even though it is an industrial loft and it is quite basic and monochrome, I believe it's really important to add in a touch of color with the plants especially and some artworks. It kind of gives a little bit more life to the build and adds a bit of character, especially depending on the sim that you've got. So I've just made sure I added a bit of color here and there just to kind of make sure that it's a little bit more lively. I mean, I'm guilty because I'm definitely a basic person when it comes to like living in my own home, but when it comes to decorating and styling, I feel like it's so important to add a bit of color. It's definitely a safe bet to do monochrome, but I wanna challenge myself here, you know? Since I've got so much open space upstairs in the loft area, I thought it was really cool to add in a floating shelf. It's a nice way to display some of your art pieces and items. So that's what I've done. And I really loved this neat trick. I'm pretty sure a lot of you would probably do this as well, but I just grabbed those tins from Cool Kitchen. They have amazing swatches. So it's just so many different options for you, but I just chose the two colors that I feel will best fit within this scheme and rotate it. And it just looks like storage tins, which is perfect for a loft style. So I think I'm gonna be doing it a lot more with the industrial look. So I am just going to be finishing now on the decorating and we will soon move to the kitchen shortly. For the kitchen, it was a little bit tricky to lay it out to begin with because of the big open windows and vast walls. But we finally got there. I just made sure I moved the window across and I didn't really 
want to change the layout of the kitchen space. I love the positions of the windows. I love the natural lighting that's just shimmering in. And I thought it'll be a missed opportunity if I were to move the kitchen elsewhere. So I was a bit stubborn with this and I made sure that it worked. So I ended up going for the base game industrial top cabinets, as you can see. I thought this was perfect. The swatches worked so well and complemented well with the bottom cabinet shelving from For Rent. So that was a nice surprise. The For Rent cabinets are actually gorgeous. I love this subtle like gray marble tones on top of the cabinet and it made it look a little bit more luxurious and tied in really well with the get together fridge and range hood. Again, I am just doing the usual cluttering. I made it look more industrial with the tinned items and added in some ceramic plates as well as spices and pickles. To divide the space, I really wanted to add in a coffee nook. So I ended up getting rid of that large window anyways. <laughs> so it didn't really matter how we laid this out in the end, but that's okay because just looking at this kitchen and it just really screamed a coffee nook section. So that's what I did. So I thought it'd be perfect if there was like a barista sim here, considering Windenburg is a city and this was perfect for like a student or somebody who just graduated and is moving out for the first time and renting out with a friend or a partner. So I've just used the get together barista coffee machine as well as the bar because that's the only two items that can go together and function and size that down and just use the for rent cabinets to make sure that it all ties in really nicely and it should still be practical. Now I'm just throwing in some rugs just to kind of break up the space. I am avoiding adding in really large rugs. So you'll see that I've scattered a lot of small rugs in and I think it kind of ties in the flooring nicely. It breaks up the timber flooring for sure. For this empty wall across the kitchen, I thought it was a perfect opportunity to add in a bookshelf or like a book section. I realized I didn't have any actual bookshelves upstairs, so it was a great way to display it and also keep that tall ceiling and leveling out the dimension of it all since we have the cabinets in the kitchen. I just wanted to make sure that it's seamless in the room and it didn't look so like flat and low. I've also decided to change the layout of the staircase so I can fit the dining table in there as you can see and I thought this was perfect because it was a great way to look out and have a little view of the water, people watching, anything like that. It is such a beautiful space in Windenburg. So as you can see, I'm using the greenhouse kit windows. I love these. They work so well with the loft look. They're beautiful. They let so much light in. So I'm just doing that as well as tidying up the exterior for the fourth time. But now we're just tidying up and adding in some decorations and cluttering to the corner space where the dining table is. I'm just working on a study nook now. I feel like The Sims definitely needs to have some sort of like computer section so that it can sit down, play games, work on emails, anything like that. So. This was a perfect space for that horse ranch table, which is so beautiful because I love the washed out look of the timber. I've thrown in some candles and lamps to make it more cozy. And I almost forgot that we had a bathroom on the other side. So I'm glad that that little bump out there was perfect fit for a door. But I also wanted to add in another storage area. So I did like a console sort of table adjacent to the study nook and I thought it worked out really well. I've added in some board games because I believe this sim will definitely have a lot of friends over so I thought that was a fun and nice addition and I just added in some glasses, phone, keys, the usual stuff that you'll get when it comes to a console table. Now I am working on the bathroom. I really like the shape and layout. It was perfect to fit the shower slash bathtub from Get Together. Probably one of my favorite items as well for the bathroom. And to continue the industrial loft look, I added in the industrial loft kit uh, basins that you can see there. I also wanted to add in a his and her sink just to give a bit more character to this bathroom. So we went ahead and did that as well. kept up with the brass look to keep the earthy industrial look and feel in here as well and I've just cluttered it up with some eco living shelving with the towel planters 
and sort of like bath soap that sit up there just above the toilet. And I've also used the Home Chef Hustle tiles for the wall papering because that is honestly my favorite wall papering by far. So as I was cluttering up, I noticed and realized it is an industrial loft and it should have exposed piping and it just clicked because I was literally in the bathroom. I'm like, wait, we can use pipes. So I decided to finally add that in towards the end as well. You'll see me throwing it around in the kitchen area, the study nook area, as well as the bathroom, of course. And I believe I popped it at the top in the bedroom too. While I did this, I also added in some curtains towards the end. And I always forget curtains. I'm notorious for it. So I need to be more mindful throughout that in my builds, especially in future. So I'm sorry if you guys don't get to see that in this build. Last but not least, we are working on the living area. I love the snowy escape couch. It just fits so nicely here. And I love that you can just push it up against the wall and you can still have an armrest section. And I also use the industrial loft entertainment table slash coffee table. And I've thrown in the TV, a record player, some candles and plants just to keep up with the warmth vibes. I imagine the sim being really creative who loves coffee. So I wanted to make sure that I put a lot of artworks in and also separated the living room. I know it is the entrance, so it's kind of odd to have it, but I feel like Instead of having just a dining space here, it was nice to have a separate room to unwind considering the main part of the loft is so open that it doesn't feel so secluded. So it's nice to have a space to kind of shut away and unwind in. So yeah, that's what I've done. Before I finally finish up with the interior, I just wanted to add in a little bit more cluttering, added in the mirror, the coat rack, and I know there is a skylight just above. So I just imagine this space just being seriously an unwinding room, you could say, where your sims can curl up with some coffee on the sofa, watch some shows or movies and things like that. Now we are finally working on the exterior and I promise this is gonna be the final time that I'm changing it. So yeah, I probably lost count. But I thought it'd be really nice to add in a porch area just at the front entrance and I did a little bump out to put in a trellis and I noticed on Pinterest when I was trying to get inspiration for loft builds I saw a lot of lofts having greenery and ivies just kind of like overgrowing around the building itself so I decided to take inspiration for that and ended up doing it for the rest of the exterior which you will soon see but I love the fact that it allows more light in and again a touch of color and character to maintain the consistency i just used the same tile flooring from the bathroom on the outside i thought it was really nice to kind of give a bit more i guess dimension to the build rather than having everything bricked or concrete and i've just added in some planters there a bike considering it is a city a mailbox of course because you can't forget and i've popped in the planter from eco living i wanted to make this like a herb garden you could say i thought it was a nice touch to add a bit more greenery of course and i just imagine this sim just really trying to be resourceful as best as they can as for the landscaping as for the landscaping it is nothing too complicated i just wanted to keep it really simple and neat and considering there is already like a fencing barricading or framing the actual build itself, I thought it was nice to add in some hedges to break things up and to give a bit more privacy for our sims. So I've done that. And of course, I've added in the castle kit flooring and pathing. And that pretty much wraps up the build. So enjoy the rest of it. I do have some screenshots as well that you can check out. But otherwise, thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment below with what you want to see next. And I will catch you all on the next one. Bye.